Are you going to throw up? Mm -mm. You got it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. Um, who are you two and how do you know each other? I'm Helena, he's my twin brother. I'm Ethan, she's my twin sister. What's your name? Jackson. Phoebe. My name's Chloe. Do you know what you're trying today? I know that it's food from the future, but I don't know the dishes. What do you think things are going to be like in the future? I, I know we're going to have closer luck to living on the moon. I don't think we're going to be eating a lot of meat and stuff. I can just imagine as time goes on, it will get weirder and weirder. Are you ready for the first dish? Absolutely. Close your eyes. Oh, it kind of smells good. Wow, you're just diving right in. Do you know what that is? No. It tastes pretty good. It looks a bit like, you know, octopus. They have those, like, spots. Mm. The only thing as bad as like that would be. Do you even know what it is? I don't have any idea what I'm eating. Octopus. Jellyfish. What? You're eating jellyfish salad. It's like chewy, but also like squishy too. <laughs> it's really weird. Are you gonna throw up? Mm -mm. You got it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you think people would be eating more jellyfish in the future? Because maybe there are too many jellyfish in the sea. You're absolutely right. We've overfished tuna and swordfish, which is jellyfish's natural predator. So now there's a ton of jellyfish. So this must be pretty fishy. Sounded funny, but. You ready for the next dish? Yes, swallow Do you just have it stored in your cheeks right now? Yes. Do you need to spit it out? No. Yeah, I don't want to swallow it. All right, so there's a trash right there. I'm like, oh, wow, you, that was a lot. What is that? Looks like a normal burger. Yeah. Hold on, it's a little big. It's super hard to grab a burger this big. I... Well. That's good. Not that bad. I would give it a seven out of 10. What are burgers normally made out of? Cow meat. That patty is actually not beef. It is made of plants. Oh, that's cool. But it tastes very good. Yeah. So that's a plant-based patty. Oh. Does it taste different to you? No. It tastes exactly the same. Exactly. As a meat burger. How do you think they do that? I don't know, they're like sorcerers or something. Do you know how many land animals are killed in the United States every day? I want to say a couple hundred. Two hundred. Way more than that. One million. Twenty-five million land animals are killed in the United States every single day. Do you know what? Okay. America kind of sucks. Do you eat a lot of meat? No, the only meat I really eat is Wendy's chicken nuggets. <laughs> I think it's good that you don't eat a lot of meat because meat accounts for nearly 60% of all greenhouse gases. I think if we're doing all this, then the next food dish would be... Alien. Alien. Oh, I wish. All right, open your eyes. Those worms? No, 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 uh-uh, I'm sorry. It's a roasted maguey worm taco. What's a maguey? It is one of two species of edible caterpillars. A caterpillar? Caterpillars? Mm-hmm. So a butterfly might come out of me? Yeah, you might poop out a butterfly. <laughs> Never tried caterpillar. But you know they're alive, right? They're not. <laughs> it's not gonna bite you. Stop! Just eat it! Just try a tiny little one. It's not itself, it's the texture. You haven't even tried it. How do you know it's the texture? No by looking at it. Why do you think this is the food of the future? Like I said, there's not going to be a lot of meat, and so we're going to have to use different ways to have our protein. Yeah, and it's, it takes a lot less energy to raise insects. They're highly nutritious. Right. A ton of protein in them. Uh-huh. Way more than most meats that you have. And so crunchy! You're lucky you're not getting sued today. <laughs> it's kind of good. So you're gonna finish the rest of the taco then, right? Wait a minute. This looks like, like the outside of a fortune cookie. What there do you think you can eat? I can eat this and that. What are you biting? The spoon. Why are you biting the spoon? It's good. A lot of people think in the future we're going to have a lot more edible food packaging. 
I guess you just need strong enough teeth to eat through it. <laughs> oh, that, that's not edible. <laughs> How about the straw? I can eat the straw? Mmm, feature's looking good. It tastes okay? Yeah, it tastes like one of those hard candies. More than 561 billion plastic utensils are used by Americans every year. Oh. And where do you think those go? In the ocean. I think that would be a good alternative is to have edible straws. Definitely. And yeah. even just like paper straws is a step up. So what else do you think should be edible? Plates. Plate, yeah. We won't even have to do the dishes. <laughs> and just eat it up. Is a plate edible? Try it. Nope. No, not, not edible, not edible. All right, open your eyes. Brownie? Yeah. Oh, it's a brownie. Yeah. Well, it's just a normal brownie. <laughs> Is it fun? So this is the flour that they make it out of. Bug! Cricket! Helena! Oh! So that brownie is made Sniff from it. cricket flour. Oh my god, that's so weird. It doesn't taste different at all. A lot more protein in that brownie, a lot healthier. Healthy brownie. The production of cricket flour uses considerably less resources. Are you just eating the crickets right now? Mm -hmm. oh. Try one. No. Try I'd one. Eat the cake. No, just try one. I'd rather eat the cake. Try one. No. Nope. You like it, right? I'm not gonna take another bite, but I'm not gonna spit this bite out. Why would you not finish the rest of it? Because I just figured out it's made out of bugs. You like to have first. People can change their minds. What if I were to tell you I lied? There's no cricket flour in it. Oh. I lied. It's made of cricket flour. Yes. Taste it. Taste the flavor. <laughs> Want some more? Great job, Helena. <laughs> what is the food of the future? Sustainability. The food, the food of the future, future is sustainable, sustainable food. food. Yeah, and you know what? There's an app where you can learn about sustainability. Really? And other very important topics. Have you heard of Da Vinci Kids? Oh, yeah. There's hundreds of hours of amazing content and interactive learning. Oh, that seems so fun. This one looks like the one I would watch the most. Igniting a creative drive and desire to learn. The Vinci Kids! Dad, can I use this please? Yes. <laughs>